Sometimes taking Instagram pictures feels like the hardest task ever because they have to be just right and perfect for you to post. I'm gonna show you how I do it. First of all, I grab my tripod. You don't have to do this. You can literally set your phone up against something. So I have my tripod. Um, a lot of times I will just set my phone up against stuff, but if I wanna actually like take good ones, I will get my tripod out and it has this little mount for your phone. Camera battery is dying, so I have to charge the other one because I haven't charged it yet. So I'll be back. It's been like an hour and my camera is charged now. So let's talk about how I take these pictures. So we have the tripod with the little hookup. Slide my phone in here. Put it where I want to put it. And then, I mean, you can do it in whatever you're wearing. You can pick something that makes you feel comfortable and good. This is just what I'm wearing today, but it's a cute outfit, so. Um, and then I don't have like a whole lot of makeup on. I just have like my eyebrows and uh, mascara. But yeah, the pictures don't have to be good. The biggest thing that I've learned is that like, Literally nobody cares. Like, you don't have to look like a model. Nobody wants you to look like a model. You want to look real. If you take pictures outside, which I do sometimes, I'm not doing it right now because there's people working, like, right next door. People might be looking at you, but nobody cares. Like, don't hide yourself for the comfort of other people. To add to this, um, while I'm editing and while I'm thinking about it, because, like, the other day I was filming a TikTok haul in my car. And people were parked right next to me and they were staring at me and laughing and waited until I stopped recording to drive away, which it made me really embarrassed at first and feel really uncomfortable. And then I was like, but why do I feel uncomfortable? Like, why does it matter? This is what I love doing and who cares what anybody else thinks? So I gave them their entertainment from the day and I got my- You don't have to have on a cute outfit and a bunch of makeup to take pictures. Like you can literally look however you want. So anyway, so I literally just go to my phone camera. I do have the iPhone 13, so like the quality of this camera is really good. Um, I just go up and then I set the timer to three seconds. And then I just take my pictures. That's literally it, so let's take some. And then always remember like, while you're taking them, just slide through and see if you like them. If you don't, just keep taking them. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm not going to like these pictures because I have a big cut in my mouth right here. And so it's hard for me to, like, smile and stuff. And I always remember, the lighting, yeah, you want it to be good. But if you look really pale, like, I look really pale in these pictures right now, Lightroom. Lightroom will fix that, so don't even worry about it. And if you're having trouble with poses, I just kind of do random things, but if you're having trouble, always go to Pinterest or like TikTok, there's always videos on different kind of poses for different kind of body shapes, different kind of people, shy, you know, whatever they've got. There's poses for everybody. Okay, I'm done. You know how long that took? Four minutes. Four minutes, and I have a whole bunch of pictures, and now I can choose through all of the pictures, and now, I'm just going to show you how I edit them too. So first of all, in all of my pictures that I post on Instagram, I look a lot more tan than I actually am. And here's how I do that. Okay, I'm just show you, there's this picture, okay? Here's what it started out as. This is it now. And this is literally what I do with all of my pictures. The lighting in this picture was really bad. Lightroom fixes that, okay? Just do these two. Okay. So, we're gonna go to light and take the exposure and bump that up. And then color. And then we hit the color mix. And then basically just turn up the hue. Turn up the saturation a whole bunch. And just do that for all of these different ones. Until I get things looking the way I want them to. And then I always do the blues just because it kind of like brightens up the picture. And bam, so much brighter. Sometimes I'll take the temperature and turn it down too, or like bump up the saturation so I look a little bit more tan. Look at that. And then we save it. And then, since I have another picture that's in the same setting, I will copy the settings 
and then paste them to the that's it that's it literally like one to two minutes and that's all that's literally all that it takes i hope this video helped you want to take more instagram pictures and build your platform um since i've been doing this kind of method where i'm like don't really care and i'm just taking these pictures and posting them i have been able to grow my platform a lot more because i'm posting consistently because i'm not so worried about what my pictures look like and you know this and that so yeah i hope this helps you and if you're somebody who's trying to grow your platform i hope that it helps and if it does let me know